Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Adobe Live here on Behance. Woo! 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 Hi. <laughs> 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 We're very excited to have Ryan Lau here with us in the studio. Welcome, Ryan. Hi. It's yeah. his second day. Yeah. Yeah, so if you missed yesterday, make sure to go back and watch those replays on the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. Um, maybe we can kind of cover what you worked yeah. on yesterday. Yeah, but yeah. just before we do that, don't forget, chat, that there is a giveaway about an hour into the segment. So all you have to do is be logged in on Behance, watching us at be.net slash live. We'll talk more about that in an hour. And there's also a contest. So if you are at B, <laughs> B sorry. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> BE.net slash live. Click on the contest tab. And the competition is an art <clears throat> magazine. Don't feel like you need to make a full-blown magazine. Two or three pages is fine. But find more information on that contest tab. All right, Ryan. Nice. Let's chat about what you did yesterday. So um, yesterday... I work on a um, project, a um, brand called Polar, mm -hmm. which is selling uh, camera accessory mm -hmm. like a uh, backpack, a uh, like tripod. It up, yeah. What you brought in, because you were very prepared. <laughs> <laughs> very impressed. So, let's see. <laughs> Munir, thank you. I just got too excited, tripped over my words. So yesterday, mm -hmm. work on um, we work on different. Let me show the presentation yeah, let's again. Go it. <clears throat> now this was all done before he even started yesterday. So there was a lot of prep work that went into so, this. So yes, yeah, spend some time. Um, yesterday we work on this project called uh, Polar which is a camera, uh, selling camera accessory stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine the, the brand selling like tripod, st stabilizer, backpack, um, uh, or any other accessory for camera. And the target audience will be some, some people that already graduated, they mm -hmm. have a job, or they uh, probably have a camera, they love to hiking, camping. Yeah outdoor activities, and also they love photography. Uh, so it's you, pretty much. You're the target audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I yeah. love photography also. Mm -hmm. um, and also I love traveling. Mm -hmm. So um, so that's why I come up with this um, um, idea to do this project. Mm -hmm. And then we go through um, image research, mood board, go through some um, other some images, like some images about the customers yeah. or like the products mm -hmm. um, something like that and we look at other we look at other uh, brand competitors right. sorry for the colors yeah that did we, similar things right? <laughs> camera brands and yeah. internet brands so it's also good at good to look at the competitors and also how we can fit into their world or also how mm -hmm. we can stand um, you know stand up yeah like, stand out so, totally so we work on some, um, uh, I work on some, uh, <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> some, some, yeah, some uh, logo explorations. Uh, mm -hmm. So these are like, because uh, polar uh, kind of remind polar bear. Mm -hmm. So um, it is, there is some um, drawings about uh, polar bear. Mm -hmm. Also pair around uh, the word, try to make a word mark. Mm -hmm. There is some other, um, other direction about um, the polar bear idea, try to make it more like a, having a geometric, a geometric form. Mm -hmm. And there are some other drawings, some drawings like uh, using more about uh, having a, like on a slope, mm -hmm. having more action to it. Yeah, dynamic for yeah. sure. And then finally, uh, um, we, I settled down on this one because this one uh, look like um, igloo. Igloo, yeah. Igloo, mm -hmm. and then polar. It's kind of, kind of like remind me of the uh, South Pole, North Pole, mm -hmm. outdoor, and then also it kind of uh, meaning that the brain can withstand, um, can stand that situation, yeah. that tough situation. Definitely. So um, that's we, we finally we I picked this one, right? And then after that, I kind of yesterday modified um, the proportion. Mm -hmm about the font, uh, the work mark, mm -hmm. and also the symbol. 
using the golden ratio. Yes, that was really cool. Um, and then we tried some colors right. yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yesterday after um, I, I go to home and then yeah. I tried some more colors. Wow, you kept working. So, um, so I think this one is uh, this is the the logo that we mm -hmm. I, I, I chose and also I kind of make the proportion. Right. 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 And then, so it's like a little bit bigger mm -hmm. than the uh, the circle, the dome shape, mm -hmm. and also using golden ratio to kind of like um, set up the proportion for the this link, yeah. and then this link, and then maybe this link, and then also this link. Yeah. Try to find a very uh, try to find a good composition. Right. And then yesterday I also do some kerning. Oh. Um, it's 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 feel okay, but L and A mm -hmm. is always always very tough. Right. To kern. Mm -hmm. Um, and also A and V, A and W, or like other other. Uh, there's some some fonts is very some some letters. Mm -hmm. um, pairs are very tough to kern. I think now it's okay, but maybe because I, I keep kerning a while and then go back right. and then I think it's okay it's, and, then, yeah. and then take a while and then maybe not and then mm -hmm. do again and maybe not do again. So right. um, it's, so far it's okay, maybe tomorrow may may, may change it again. Yeah, but maybe check it out. <laughs> you have yeah, to double, double check. Mm -hmm. And then I try some uh, colors. Ooh. So there's uh, different colors. Um, try to do because um, it's an igloo. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking just to leave this as white color, white color. Right. So having a, a, a rectangle behind it and then make it and then have different colors or like set up one color mm -hmm. so that it can stand out. Right. The back, the background. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, I'm trying different colors and then I also research like tough colors. Uh, you ah. know, trying some keywords uh, in the creative uh, brief. Mm -hmm. So like tough, protection, camera, or like active, right. outdoor, something mm -hmm. like that. And then I found found different um, colors, mm -hmm. variations. Um, I, I, I personally, I kind of like the blue one. Yeah, that's nice. The blue one is, um, is, is have a feeling of outdoor. Um, and also, the color of this one is not um, very bright. Right, like we liked this one yesterday. Yeah, or I did. yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I like this more because it's a little more uh, intense and serious. Yeah, it's have a tougher um, meaning. Mm -hmm. So this one is kind of like um, more, um, um, say, younger, uh, for younger target mm -hmm. audience. Mm -hmm. Well, these, these are, these, these, like for example, these, uh, kind of like dark uh, colors, um, maybe too tough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe too serious. Too serious. Too serious. And then there's a uh, green. Uh, like mm, it, it's it's too obvious. It's about uh, yeah. nature. Yeah, and so it green contrasts with an icy igloo. It's a little strange. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So red is like too similar to. Um, uh, some other brand like uh, Uniqlo or like mm. some um, the North Face right. is too similar to them. Uh, um, mm -hmm. So it's kind of have to consider um, the other brands also. True. So uh, after that, I, I kind of pick this one and also work on some mm -hmm. different colors based on this color. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can do some variation on the co this color also. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a more saturated color, a darker color. And then work on some um, like a yesterday we also I also work on a little bit like a horizontal style. Right. Trying this because um, um, uh, the the brand may probably selling uh, they they're selling um, tripod. Uh -huh. So it's easier have a long um, long logo would be easier for them to right, put on to the go tripod on the leg. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there's these. And also yesterday I worked on some pattern. Whoa! So <laughs> using this uh, dome shape because mm -hmm. it have a similar 
Um, it's, have, it's like a boring the same idea like this shape, mm -hmm. but I sim like make it super simple and then make it different color. This one is just a white I'm trying out. Right. And then try uh, and then I try different colors. And actually I can try more and more. Um, but um, this is my process right now. Right. And then there's a uh, different circle. So the reason I doing this because mm -hmm. um, a brand usually have um, have some pattern associated with it. Mm -hmm. Usually it's, um, it, it's a good idea to do some right. so that you can, um, so for the brand to use it or like the future designer use it. Right. And then um, I, for me, I'm using this because um, I'm creating this because um, I'm gonna make some um, backpack or like oh, some with the pattern. yeah with the pattern or like uh, cool. tripod or something. Mm -hmm. So yesterday I I I make one uh, one already. Let's see it. So yesterday I I already. Oh my gosh! You already have all the work done. So yesterday, <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, I That's already cool. tried some. Um, this is a photo from Adobe Stock. Uh -huh. So download it um, uh, using the company account. <laughs> well, <laughs> what's done is done. Because uh, 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 my company doesn't use stock photos uh, at all. Because um, mm -hmm. we have our own photographer. Oh, yeah. And we usually use our own photos, mm -hmm. um, not using too much stock. Gotcha. So that's, that's why the account have a lot of rollover. Yeah, lots of credits. So just use some, <laughs> live it. Uh, uh, and then next one we'll go back. So yeah, it's, 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 yeah hopefully the boss will not find out. But um, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one is a backpack. I tried to use uh, the the pattern here. Mm -hmm. And then and also put the put the logo here mm -hmm. like in the black background. Nice. Um, we can do other um, other colors also, mm -hmm. but I, I sort of like this one. I do too. I think this is better than the the pattern you just showed that was like very bright and yes. rainbowy. This is a little more like serious outdoors. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this one I I I let me see. So this is this one. So usually if I for this naming I'm doing I don't for myself I don't too I don't do too much of naming. Oh okay so your layers aren't named. Yeah mm -hmm. for myself. Mm -hmm. But if I work with other designer in a bigger company so usually I have to name everything so right. that um, the the other designer will know mm -hmm. all the, what this layer is for. Right. So or have to do like a group or whatever. Yeah, stay organized. So for myself, if I know what my process is, mm -hmm. I probably don't do too much. Right. So I just drop the texture here and then make it like a smart object, and then let's see. Where'd it go? So wow. it's here, and then I put it it's actually the same pattern, mm -hmm. and I just drop it here. And then when you drop it here, you will say um, convert to smart object. Object, yeah. And then I convert to smart object so that uh, it doesn't affect the the actual um, artwork oh, here. Right. Yeah. So uh, it won't update. Yeah, because I have to do you know if I have to do some. Um, changing the form or changing anything. Yeah. So we're just changing this layer, but not changing uh, the actual artwork. Gotcha. That makes so, sense. We actually have a question in chat before you yeah. keep going from uh, Kalani, wondering, do you always create two or three logo variations and then send it to the client to pick, or do you usually just do the one you like and send it? So uh, typically, uh, we do more, obviously, I think, I think, to me, I do more than one, right? And uh, depends on the project. Mm, right. So usually, I do maybe um, even just like what I said yesterday. I think um, I I I uh, would do like a few directions. Yes. And each direction may have a couple logos in it. Right. And then like going for a more active yeah. uh, direction, we mm -hmm. have some logos. Mm -hmm. And I have um, um, 
another outdoor or like indoor or whatever yeah. direction will have a separate logos gotcha. Gotcha. and then um, just let the line sort of mm. design the direction first mm -hmm. yeah but you and don't want to overwhelm them with yeah. too many options yeah yeah and also to less logo they might think that you don't work too much that's true so if yeah. you just give them free they may not they will think oh I give you like a week or two weeks and yeah. you just give me free logos. Yeah, exactly. And then the, the client may not like it. So mm. so so it's That's good to true. have some work, but to, not too much, yeah. as you said. And But also make it clear enough yeah. so that the client can make the right, uh, mm -hmm. like have a clear mind of what right. um, what you're doing, what kind yeah. of action, so that it's easy for them to pick the right mm -hmm. choice. Yeah, you could always show them a couple, just a few, and if they're not happy with those, let them know that you have other options. Yeah. Um, but you don't want to overwhelm them. And Mark Anthony is wondering, did you use Adobe Dimensions to put this logo on your bag or did you just use Photoshop? I just use Photoshop. Gotcha. Um, personally, I didn't use, I did, so far I didn't use a Dimensions. Mm -hmm. I know it's a so new software. Yeah. yeah, pretty cool. So um, I haven't used it. Uh, for for myself, I mm -hmm. uh, sometimes download some stock photos, mm -hmm. and I just place like this one, just place the logo on top of it, right. and then put some graphics, edit it, or painting something yeah. like that. And then uh, maybe uh, sometimes I have some 3D renderings, or uh, or I know some Maya, mm -hmm. so sometimes I will have to download some uh, either I create the objects. Right. Or I have to download objects from somewhere mm -hmm. or buy it, and then I put a uh, graphics on top of it and gotcha. render it. So yeah, um, maybe Adobe Dimensions is your yeah, next yeah, big yeah. App. <laughs> I, I think that would be easier, but I haven't have a chance yeah. to learn it yet. I mm -hmm. think it would be easier. Right. Uh, Maya takes a lot of time. It does. Uh, if you don't know, if you haven't learned Maya, mm -hmm. it just take too much effort to learn it. Right. I um, agree. I took a 3D animation class in college, and it was all Maya based, yeah. and I dropped out after like two weeks <laughs> yeah. I was like this it's, is not for it's me very, it's very <laughs> difficult for yeah. first time uh, it takes me a lot of time to learn it mm -hmm. um, and sometimes I found that um, there's other software called uh, SketchUp mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's easier a little bit SketchUp yeah. um, and also it's um, uh, Maya you have Maya SketchUp and what what other software? But so far I use these two. Right. I think. Gotcha. So if you don't want to have a huge learning curve, try yeah. out Adobe Dimensions. It's really simple. You can download uh, 3D forms. You don't have to build them yourself. Very cool. Yeah. And uh, before we move on, we have one more question okay. from Jeanette. Do you think InDesign would be good for laying out a children's illustrated book? So I think probably. Um, illustration book. Yeah. It would InDesign be good for laying out a book? Uh, of course. Yeah, laying that's out what a you're book. Do. Yeah, mm -hmm. InDesign is perfectly for laying mm -hmm. out a book. Uh, illustrating book, I think, is okay also because mm -hmm. illustrations have a lot of graphics. Yeah. Um, and also, illustrator just help you do all the numbering, the, the mm -hmm. pages number, right. page number. And if you want to do text, um, little text is fine. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't, because usually for me, if I do a book, I would just go to InDesign. Yeah, uh, right. So I think, Jeanette, it would be perfect for it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Actually, okay. we have one more question before oh, okay. you jump in. This okay. is good. I'm glad the chat is yeah. so uh, interactive. So Anna's wondering, she's applying to universities for graphic design. Yes. And she's wondering if you have any tips for creating a good portfolio. design portfolio. So... Um, portfolio if you apply to university for I think that if you create a portfolio you have to there, I saw a lot of good um, samples online there's like some people creating a book mm -hmm. about um, all their work that they've done yeah there's uh, 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 some people just put it online but for the university, it depends on different university. True. Different u university, uh, they have different requirements. Some 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 school will just ask you to submit a CD, uh -huh. and then the CD will have all the images. Yeah. And then some some school will ask you for uh, resume and also you know something. Some yeah. it depends on different school. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've been I, I when I applying to my school, mm -hmm. I do a a book. A book uh, with a CD, and then the book have uh, 
of my work mm -hmm. and then each work will have a picture of each page will have a picture like it's spread I think each spread we have a page of uh, some photos of our work and then some text about gotcha. our work and then explain it, explanation mm -hmm. and the CD will have the picture and also um, some design some job some sketch oh, something like that so um, just just make it clear so that um, the the people who are reviewing um, your work will understand mm -hmm. what you're yeah, doing something right. like that yeah and putting in your process I think yeah because and important. also it, it I think it's it need to take some time mm -hmm. um, if you're applying for school take some time to design the portfolio also it takes yeah. you some time to design it right and um, and um, and the, the the piece itself the portfolio itself it can be your artwork mm -hmm. for the um, the committee to review yeah so um, they will know that oh you you can make this type of book that kind of thing. Yeah, right. So a good example of like having your process, maybe you have some process pieces in here. Well, you have uh, different examples of your work in context, actually mocked up on things. That's important. Yes. Just thinking about your work as a whole, not just here's an image, unless your university just asks for images, because they might just say your work will speak for itself. But good luck, Anna. Hope you get into your uh, university of choice. Cool. Okay, now we can finally get back right. to your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is one of the the images I'm mm -hmm. gonna use, and then there is another one I'm gonna use, uh, which is similar. Uh, but this one look actually it's similar. I, I create like a oh. very subtle dot pattern. It's oh, very cool. Subtle. Yeah. And then put the logo on it, mm -hmm. similar, similar style, and put the logo here. Oh, very nice. So, so that's why you created the the long the, version. Yes, that's why I created the long version so that you can pull it on, you know, tripod mm -hmm. and stuff. Because the logo usually people like um, the company have to think about how they can use it on their products, mm -hmm. and also it's. When we're doing this, we have to help them to think. Because mm -hmm. sometimes when we do a logo, which is square format, yeah. and if they have a product like tripod, they, they, if they put the logo, it'd mm -hmm. be tiny, tiny. Yeah. And if you make a long version, they can, it's better for them to use it on the tripod mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that um, it's bigger and then so that people, the customer will easier to see it, mm -hmm. uh, that kind of thing. Right. Cool, I like that very subtle pattern. Yeah speaks for itself so um, then we can jump into the um, the InDesign to do the book the book that I mentioned yeah so um, it is going to let me find it presentation yes awesome while you're finding that I want to remind all of you in chat that we are running a contest thank you Adobe live team for mentioning that you have about an hour and ten minutes to get your contest entries in uh, the theme today is creating an art magazine, but don't worry, you don't have to start from scratch. No, very cool. Um, don't have to start from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> there is a template for you to use. Click on the contest tab at be.net slash live. And uh, Ryan will have the honor of picking a winner of a one year of Creative Cloud for free. Cool, so this cool. is the creative brief. Yes, so it's mainly about the book Mm -hmm. So imagine this is a um, a book about the brand 10 years anniversary. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's basically uh, the brief is talking about the book is about uh, celebrating the, the these 10 years mm -hmm. and also document uh, these 10 years what happened and also for marketing purposes. So uh, imagine a customer can um, buy it on some on the local shops mm -hmm. and also maybe online and also maybe if, if for a customer that who spend certain money certain amount of mm -hmm. money mm -hmm. maybe like um, a thousand or few thousand over yeah. 10 years then you can oh, get it cool. free yeah because I uh, uh, imagine this book would probably if you just sell it for like ten dollars or something uh -huh. it's not like crazy expensive right, right, right. but more for the uh, fan of the, the company yeah 
so loyalty yeah mm-hmm. so and also for some bigger company um if if they are big enough they have there's a lot of fans going on mm-hmm. they will have like for example uh buffing ape or something they sometimes they have a big book oh right because they have a lot of fans mm-hmm. and they a lot of people love their brand mm-hmm. and also clothing bag or whatever they they, they make yeah and they just love to buy that yeah, that book because right, just to have it, just to have it, because mm-hmm. uh, they love the brand so much. Yeah. So and um, so that's why um, the keywords and brand drivers are probably the same as I uh, mentioned yesterday. Mm-hmm. Probably outdoor, uh, all weathers, tough protection, about the camera, durable and high quality, and probably I, I haven't add this, but I think it could be. Um, one other work could be like celebration because oh, yeah. it's a celebration mm-hmm. so it actually i might add that for yeah. the keywords mm-hmm. um so here and then i do some do some um um image um mood board thing let me see some more mood boarding so I like it so i make i forgot mm-hmm. to t- take off the square but <laughs> Uh, that's why I open it in Illustrator, and here. So hmm. these are some book that I found online. I kind of like it. Mm-hmm. I like uh, the cover, like this, the bopping ape. So the different colors, kind of like, sorry. That's right. So um, the different color kind of have a celebration. Yeah, it does. Um, celebration mm-hmm. um, feeling, mm-hmm. and also these different colors make the book feel happier. Yep. And I also like this, how the graphics, um, um, going with the, the yeah. photography uh-huh, together. It with it. Yeah, and and also creating like a three D um, um, depth. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's like this layer like on top of the picture, and this one is behind. Yeah. yeah. And also the text is before, and I love this kind of uh, 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 thing. Mm-hmm. And also these words also on top and then they put a circle on behind the person and they make it the circle is behind him uh, behind her and then the text is before her yes. something like that mm-hmm. so and also like um this type because mm-hmm. it's like in an art shape yeah. and it's similar to the logo yeah curved. so maybe we can try that mm-hmm. and this circle different Picture. I also love it, mm-hmm. and this is a gold one, and I love this. You know, um, yeah. Didn't see. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah. That we were in front of it. <laughs> so, let me show it here. Oops. So it's this one. So it's this one here. Cool. So I have the gold uh-huh. color. I really love this one. Mm-hmm. And then it's just very simple. But it have the impact of the color yeah. and make it like super luxury. Right. I wonder how you can kind of combine the celebration aspect with just this clean, luxurious feeling. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, then let's get start. So um, I'm gonna open InDesign. So let's close it. All right. Jumping into InDesign, very exciting. And whoever was wondering about the um, children's book layout in InDesign, make sure you watch because this might be helpful. So uh, I'll just pick um, some regular um, print size. Mm-hmm. So, okay. so. So uh, first of all, I have to set up the pages. Mm-hmm. So before doing this, um, so I have to think about um, uh, how the book bind. Oh yeah. So um, and also how many pages? Right. If if, if the copywriter already know. Mm-hmm. So in a in a bigger company, in a, if you have a larger team, mm-hmm. probably a, there's a writer that do all the text. Mm-hmm. There's some people have all the images, and then there's uh, the designer 
help um, doing the design, right. maybe a couple design too, mm-hmm. or, and then design the writer sort of have to do it together. Right. Sort of like knowing um, what's the flow of the book, the pacing, whatever, and then um, they have to do a lot of times, uh, a lot of rounds of meeting about that. Yeah. Um, imagine this book probably just um, um, like a small book, but it's like perfectly perfect binding. Okay. So like have a group perfect binding is like you just stack the page pages together mm-hmm. and then you just screw it. Oh okay. And then you do it the binding right, like right. more like the magazine uh-huh. type mm-hmm. of uh, uh, binding. Gotcha. So all paper, no thread or anything to sew it. You don't sew. Yeah, for the, for for this one. For this one. Um, there is like maybe maybe. That's not a bad idea. I think mean, oh, that is such a pretty good. So, uh, <laughs> so I think uh, make it have a uh, more organic yep, feeling true. to the book. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it's not bad. Uh, I like it. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but that one probably have to ask the printer how many cutter oh, should true. it be. Yeah. Uh, probably have to depends on uh, how the printer do it, mm-hmm. and also designers designer job to talk with the printer mm-hmm. about how the book's gonna make and then you know all these things because right. it's very essential because uh, it kind of affect um, the end of the design like you have to sort of think of the color and yeah. then when you're doing the design right. um, in order to come in the, during the process um, we probably have to do a lot with the uh, if someone changed the book Format. Mm-hmm. You have to do it again. It's, right. It's, it's, it's tough. It's not good. So for those in chat that don't know what the gutter is, what is that, and why do you have to think about it? So gutter is. Um, um, <laughs> Where's a book? a book? I, I think. I... Okay. So he's providing a book. Notebook. Mm-hmm. So gutter is. Imagine you have a magazine. Mm-hmm. You can show it to the camera. This is, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a book. Mm-hmm. You know. Gutter is like if you okay. think about <laughs> think about uh, a book. This is how they bind it, uh-huh. bind the book together. Right. So gutter is like um, like this area. Mm-hmm. This area. Right. So some of that area disappears. So yeah, disappears. So mm-hmm. if the book depends on how the book bind, mm-hmm. some book you cannot open it that much because it's gonna right. rip the book apart. Yeah. So like some book maybe just like looks like that if it's this. not a f- lay flat. If it's not so flat there is some uh, some book like if you do the I think it's called send send or something S A D D L E. Oh, saddle. Saddle, yeah. Saddle stitch. So that one would be just, they can put it flat. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So you don't worry about the gutter a lot. Right. You still have to do some. Yeah. Because uh, if the book getting too big, you probably have to right. need it. But yeah. um, 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 that's that's how, how what voice the gutter is. Hmm. Awesome. Thanks for explaining it. So, um, so that's how um, this starting here so maybe we can do uh, for now do set up the pages I I'm not sure yet but I'll just do maybe. yeah Hussein it's similar to the bleed as in like you're setting up a parameter uh, to protect yourself from things being printed in the gutter or being printed off of the edge which would be like the bleed so setting up your margins is yeah very important yeah so the first stage probably have to think about um, the margin, mm-hmm. also about the grid system. Yeah, let's see how you set this up. I'm interested. Let's see. So for me, I I don't do too much mm-hmm. uh, about. So this one is a perfect bind. So I just do a little bit. Um, maybe I just set it up in inches. To look at it, inches. I think it's in. Oh, preferences. Yep. This is units. So I think it helps me. Mm. I change after I change it to inches. That's interesting. I sort of know um, 
voice imaginate. Because、mm-hmm. uh, the picker like have to do a lot of chants like yeah convers- <laughs> yeah. Marcel yesterday uses、uh, the picas or picas, so it's interesting that you use inches. Yeah, it's easier for me.、Mm-hmm. Um, uh, depends on different designer.、Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, it's easier. So it's of no, and also、um, it it also for. For me, it's easier to know because how that's how I learn it、mm, yeah. in here. But if you do in other places like China、mm-hmm. or like、uh, Hong Kong, yeah, when they printing, they probably use cm、yeah. or mm. Yeah, so、um, it's different, and also it depends on the uh, uh, um, the printer、mm-hmm. how they use it.、True. Sometimes it's easier to follow what they're using、mm-hmm. currently. So、uh, if they're using mm or cm, just use it,、yeah. and then you find just find have to print it at your side and look at it when you're、Make、doing、sure. the design. Yeah, definitely. So、um, doing the let's see. Twenty-five more minutes, everyone, till the giveaway. Did you forget? I didn't forget. I'm excited. So you did about half an inch. Margin. Yeah.、Cool. For now,、uh, we can do some.、Uh, yeah, that's how I see it. So maybe do a little bit. At this point, I don't know too much, but I just love to do a little bit. You know, just keep.、Mm-hmm. This. So you like a bigger margin. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. For for now. And then maybe when I doing actually doing the design,、mm-hmm. probably have to change it or、oh, yeah. maybe change it or maybe because when I do the design, I often they put some graphics or some images of the、uh, margin. Yeah. Sometimes you have to do some bleed.、Mm-hmm. Um, it it depends on on different design also. I I just do. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, Adobe Live Team.、Uh, we do have a giveaway. As what I was mentioning in 25 minutes, it is three amazing posters designed by artists on Adobe Live. It's going to be amazing. They're behind us right now. Mr. T is hiding behind Ryan's.、So、we've got Robzilla's Mr. T, Jingwei's pool party, and Christine Heron's travel tags, or as I like to call them, travel taggles. You can win those. All you have to do is be logged in on Behance. Don't just watch. You got to log in so you can chat,、uh, and we'll do some Adobe magic and pick a random winner. Columns. So, yeah, just do something for the how many grid system the 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 grid、mm-hmm. the columns.、Uh, generally, I start with for me I start with small first. Okay.、Uh, just to get a、um, very simple、um, design first、right. for me, and then、mm-hmm. as the process go on, I will just start adding more stuff. Okay. Like, cause this this is a Uh, for example, like three grid. Yeah. And then、uh, maybe I, would, maybe I think、um, this one is better. Then I would try to do six. Oh, okay. And then adding up.、Mm-hmm. And also sometimes I will try to come up with a system,、oh. doing the branding.、Mm-hmm. Uh, in the branding, probably if you do uh, some, uh, for example, the length. Of something is like,、uh, for example, the not the length, but for example, the font size、mm-hmm. is twelve point. Right. Maybe you can try twelve point on some other things,、mm-hmm. and then maybe twenty four or thirty six. You know,、yeah. multiples. Yeah. Multiples. So it's in a system.、Mm-hmm. Something like that. Yeah. We can so try it. Yeah. So it's cohesive. So it looks cohesive. Um. I just start with a smaller number first, and then personally, of this. This one, but so、um, imagine this is the cover.、Mm-hmm. So we can do some、um, try some different layout. We can draw images here. Ooh, look at all that Adobe stock! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I look through the the stock, Adobe stock, and I. I love these images.、Ooh. It's a very cool, <laughs> super cool. Yeah,、and、so many different options. So found like hiking, you know, hiking back. That is the original images、mm-hmm. that、um, that the the graphics,、uh, the the picture that I just showed、mm-hmm. you. This one is the original. 
And there's some hiking, there's some people with the photographer,、mm-hmm. some people with the background in the、yeah. outdoor, there's some、um, hiking also. These are your target audience. Yes, there's <laughs> a target audience, and that's why I found different images related to、um, this idea. Very nice. I love all the colors in there. Yeah. So、um, maybe we can, we can try.、Ooh. I kind of like this. I do too. Very dynamic. Image.、Mm-hmm. We can try this one. Wow. It's super <laughs> big. So I just have to scale it down.、Oh, no. I know. That always gets me. The frame. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. So, kind of like muscle memory, I forgot. Yeah, it's a shift command. To grab the actual image <laughs> and not the frame. Yeah. So, sometimes, so, so we can try different composition. Maybe trying something. Maybe here. I、um, just have to try it.、Mm-hmm. And then also the logo, we can. Drop the logo here. I think the logo is here. Yes, that's the page. Cool, so that's the finished logo, the one that you decided upon. So, we can try putting it here, then we can test it out.、Mm. Try to fit it. Uh, mm-hmm. So, you're really working within this grid system? Yeah, at first I would try to match it with the grid system.、Mm-hmm. And then later on, when I have a sense of how it l o o k、mm-hmm. um, in the process, probably have to do a little bit,、um, try to put it in the middle of nowhere, or like, <laughs> like here, or maybe、yeah. like here. So, we can try different things for、yeah. the. But for now, it's good to just stick within the lines. So maybe you just say 10 years. Did I spare it now? Yeah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Jeanette says, I just want to keep saying picas. Why? Picas. And I have a question for you, chat. Do you say pica or pica? It's like jif or gif. <laughs> to each their own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just always think of Pikachu if you say Pika, which isn't a bad thing. Pika. <laughs> so, try maybe this, but it's not very, it's kind of. Offset.、Mm-hmm. I love it kind of offset, offset,、mm-hmm. but it doesn't have a sense of celebration. Right, not yet. So, probably I put some more colors on it, maybe. So, I can drop in some RX here. Sync up. Oh, this is the celebration. So、I、we、like、can、it. try something maybe here, and then we can. I don't know. So today, probably I'll spend some time on the cover,、mm-hmm. and then we can try different things. Cool. So this is like playtime, just playing around. So, cropping off the images. <laughs> Adobe Live Team asks Is it aluminum? Al- aluminium? It's, it's both are wrong. It's aluminum. <laughs> I 
Got about 15 minutes until our giveaway of these three amazing posters. Armando, I hope that you are the lucky winner if it is, in fact, your birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, Hussein wants to know what kind of tablet you're using. It's a medium Wacom tablet. Pretty yes. Sure? Yes. So... Oh, Miguel, you're wondering when a Spanish live stream will be available. I'm not sure when that will be, but we do have a Spanish guest from 3 to 5 today, Marcel Prats from Spain. Maybe you guys can speak Spanish together. Stick around for that. That'll be from 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific time. So, since we're working on the cover, oh, so this is probably... Cool. Not doing facing pages for now. Mm -hmm. Try maybe try some other things. I like that kind of cream color in the background. Yeah, the cream color I pick it from the picture. Uh huh. Yep. So try and like align it, make it together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can try something. I don't know. So often time I have to switch between. Um, between InDesign and Illustrator, uh -huh. some graphics is actually easier if I using Illustrator to create. Definitely. So like, I'd um, say most of them probably are. So maybe I can do something about this arch. I haven't, I haven't designed what to do with it yet, mm -hmm. but. Can try something. Whoa! An arch filled with arches. Right. So that's sometimes it's hard to do because it's this one I create this pattern mm -hmm. in here, and that's why it's a pattern. Oh, and cool. also sometime because now it's in a more like trans transform both. Mm -hmm. So I can change it to, let me see, I think it is trans, trans properties, maybe, no. We have a couple of entries for our contest already. Very impressed by all of you. I see uh, we have a few from Brett's stream that we still need to look at, and then a couple new entries for Ryan's stream. We'll look at yeah, those. In a little less than an hour, uh, so make sure you're continuing to work on those. Check out more information on the contest tab at be.net slash live. So now when I'm making bigger or smaller, oh. it will kind of, the pattern kind of stay the same. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then now maybe I can choose transform both and do something. Maybe like this. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Someone had a good idea in chat. Do you know uh, Roman numerals? So one is an I, two is two I's. Have you ever seen that? It's like a way of counting. Uh, but 10 in Roman numerals is an X. Yeah. So you could make. So that's why an X. iPhone call iPhone yeah, X. There right? you go. Yeah, exactly. So you can make an X out of those potentially. That was, I think, Diego's idea. Correct me if I'm wrong, Diego. You can, we can try it. Yeah, not saying you have to, but <laughs> chat has good ideas sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Do you have an iPhone X? <laughs> no. No, me neither. <laughs> yeah. Some of my friends have iPhone X already and mm -hmm. they're just showing off. Oh, <laughs> rude. <laughs> Jan Eric says it always bothers him when people say iPhone X, it's iPhone 10. That's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Sorry, Jan Eric. I'm clearly a noob. I've never even held an iPhone X. 
Bye, Daniel. Good luck focusing on what you need to focus on. Pair on size. I don't know. <laughs> yes, as Adobe Live team just said in chat, if you have any questions for Ryan, please ask. He'll be here for about another hour, and then we'll have uh, Maud on next, and then Marcel after that. But Ryan will be back tomorrow. No worries. Still got an hour. Still got two hours tomorrow. We can try try to use these. In Illustrator. Ah, okay. And play around it. So, okay. So it's because I think we can try. Oh, Chandler has a question for you, Ryan. Yes. What was the first big design project you did when you got out of school? A was big? It, yeah. Project? Or what's what's your first big project that you're very proud of? Uh, I I think I work in um, Gensler, mm -hmm. and then there's some projects that I I work with some more senior graphic designer mm -hmm. that I'm very proud of. Cool. And I um I don't know if they're still in process or mm -hmm. not. Oh. But because um, uh, usually architecture firm, because it, it takes them time to build it, mm -hmm. and then it takes a lot of effort to you know connect the um, um, the, the constructor mm -hmm. company, construction company, yeah, yeah. or like do more different involves more departments mm -hmm. or more companies right. to do it. Design so is it just take, a small part of it. Yeah, it just take long a time. Yeah. So I uh, say so I think I. I help them do some graphic design, uh, graphics, wall graphics, mm -hmm. some signage. Uh, um, although some of the design that um, some of the design are already um, settled down mm -hmm. before coming to my hand. Oh, I see. Because they're like, because um, if you imagine if you have a in a big team, mm -hmm. while every designer. Um, there's like a couple designer already mm -hmm. working on the same project. Uh, yeah. So you work on it one day, the other day you come here, probably like it's a little bit different because mm -hmm. uh, the other designer is already working on it yeah. a little bit before Definitely. you, mm -hmm. and then she may be or he may be combining some stuff. Mm -hmm. And then when you come back to the project, it's a little bit different than you work on yeah. before. Yeah. And then sometimes you just uh, don't know where the file is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's uh, going on? Because <laughs> they just put on their, in their way. Oh, yeah. They kind of like format it. And then sometimes you just have to ask them and find the file. Yeah. And then working on it again and then come back later and it's, and then all, and it's different mm -hmm. again. Yeah. And then come back again. So um, it's kind of fun there. Mm -hmm. And also, um, 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 I, I can't say the actual project because mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the still mm -hmm. in process or not. Yeah. I'm not sure. It's that important. It has to be a secret. Because uh, it's a you know company. Yeah. And uh, uh, um, I, I do the signage. Uh, we um, sort of analyzing um, the plan mm -hmm. and then sort of like um, analyzing um, which place which uh, spot would be the place would be the place that people to make a decision yeah mm -hmm. so they come here they know that oh there's two paths yeah so they have to make a decision yeah. going left or mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. or left maybe a uh, left maybe um entering something right uh, right maybe going to a shop yeah something like that so people have to know before they're doing the yeah. so that they can make a decision yeah so that's your job so, yeah it's, mm -hmm. it's a job um and then as a designer there, we kind of like talk about it, analyze the plan, mm -hmm. and um, I, I enjoy the moment yeah. over there. And um, uh, it's, it's also very happy 
if if I see the actual piece.、Mm-hmm. So it feel、yeah. very、um, very proud of because、mm-hmm. I you know that I work on、uh, everyone like in the team you know that oh you work on this、yeah. or the other person also、yeah. and also proud of it because I look at the actual piece. Yeah, you can experience it. Yeah, yeah. And also it's a signage.、Um, it's different than just a. It's different than a book. Yeah, I didn't say that book is not good, but、mm-hmm. book is just flat. And then there's like if you do a stack, and then it's really also very powerful. But、yeah. in an actual piece, like I'm talking about signage like that tall. Yeah. Like、um, like this tall, maybe taller、mm-hmm. or maybe huge. Yeah. It it, it feels very powerful because、yeah. it's super big when you、mm-hmm. look at it. And、yeah. during the design process, we have to do actual size also.、Mm-hmm. We have to print like big. Right, and、uh, but we only look part of it. Like for、yeah. wall graphics,、mm-hmm. if it's like、um, a, a hundred feet, is it hundred? But it's like big, <laughs> not hundred feet. Maybe maybe、uh, twenty、okay. something.、That、I, I forget.、Right. It's like long time ago.、Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like super big wall. Yeah, I'm just like we can only print. It's very hard to print the whole piece. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not okay. We just like crop some of it. Right. And then we look at it in actual size, put、mm-hmm. it on the wall,、mm-hmm. uh, try to、uh, think of the、um, um, the appropriate location of it.、Yeah. Imagine it's like, oh, imagine it's this,、mm-hmm. and then we walk like ten feet away. It、yeah. say look the same, or we can read, or we cannot read.、Yeah. What is legibility?、Mm-hmm. That kind of thing.、Mm-hmm. So、um, it's also.、Um, Uh, it's also very hard because、uh, the printer sometimes we we cannot use、um, full color printer.、Oh, sometimes, mm-hmm, sometimes mm-hmm. we use color, but we cannot use it、uh, sometimes because the print is the print, so it's not the final yeah final、uh, materials. Right, right. So it's also have to wait until the sample comes in. Yeah. So you don't know is it right or wrong.、Mm-hmm. Sometimes we just look at. Some pattern, something. Just look at、uh, is this pattern the right size? Yeah. And then wait for the sample. Oh, this is the color. Oh, it should be okay. Yeah, a lot of、something、back and、like、forth.、That. So there's a lot of back and forth. Yeah, just、mm-hmm. to say,、mm-hmm. um, takes a lot of time also. Nice. Yeah, it's、uh, a little scary sometimes when you、yeah. just have to trust that it's going to turn out well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just have to trust,、um, and it also go through、uh, a lot of people.、Mm-hmm. So.、Um, So it's not only your job, yeah. Also, other people's job, yeah.、Um, so it's just to do more communication with、mm-hmm. the team.、Mm-hmm. Um, if you don't understand, just ask them. Or if they they don't understand, they will ask you. Yeah. So you just have to do it together, right? As a team, right? So do you like working on a team, or would you rather work by yourself? Uh, I think doing as a team is feel more.、Um, I think it's it's better mm-hmm. actually, because mm-hmm.、uh, being a team, you uh, you can、um, talk with your coworker,、yeah. and then we can get the ideas together.、Right. While、uh, while doing the job alone, you kind of like just you are the only one、right. thinking,、yeah. and there's a lot of time I couldn't think, I kind of stuck in some ideas,、mm-hmm. or sometimes I think so, think something too much, and it. Actually, there are other better、yeah. direction out there、right. that I haven't explored,、mm-hmm. and then it's kind of like spending too much time on one direction,、right. and the other direction, the other direction doesn't just better at direction other. Yeah. So,、um, so in a team, more like you design something, another poly, another designer come up with some idea, some、mm-hmm. other direction,、mm-hmm. and then maybe another one, and then we kind of like do it together. Right. Um, and then we have a meeting or something, and then we look at it together.、Mm-hmm. What is good about your direction?、Yeah. What is bad about this direction? You、yeah. know, and then maybe we think that this is good direction, and then、um, and then we kind of like、oh, this one maybe also good、mm-hmm. a little bit, and we can make it together,、yeah. mix and match,、right. maybe.、Um, so、uh, that's that's the good thing about being a team. Yeah. So have the support with. Yeah, you know, have a support. Right, there's、cup. a balance because、yeah. with so many people, there's a lot of voices, but that can be a good thing.、It、can also be a, a bad thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very cool. It's true. Well, you are working just by yourself on this one, but we do have chat, and they're kind of like a team. Yeah. Too. <laughs> I like that. I like all the interaction chat. I hope you're hope you're enjoying it too. All right, back to playtime. 
So, okay, look at it. weird <laughs> so i think it's because it's a pattern and oh so okay it's a sometimes you just do things that you didn't expect it but um you can try this method try so there is another way it may be easier so when I, because uh, I'm, I'm picturing the the f uh, cover will be a page, um, mostly have a graphic or something. Right. Mm -hmm. So we can create this page in a new file in Illustrator, so that that file will mainly about that graphic. Cool. And Laura, don't worry, I have your uploaded project. It is open. We won't miss it again today. We do have a giveaway in one minute, everyone in chat, so just hold tight. We'll start the giveaway in just a bit. We'll get the hype train going. Woo. <laughs> that sounded really insincere. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, Rory, one minute. Got it. Ooh. So we can place place a let me see. Place a inside file in here. So, whoa, here, but actually, shouldn't do it, shouldn't should do it this way. So, I think command D is the place, but I've defined yep. this, and then we found cool. While you're finding that, let's get that giveaway hype train going. I see some people in chat already giving the woot woot, getting that uh, train chugging along. So what you can win. This is a beautiful poster behind Ryan's head of Mr. T, illustrated by Robzilla here in the studio, uh, actually on the iPad, which is amazing. All these posters are 11 by 17. We've got Jingwei's pool party behind my head, super cute, and Christine Heron's travel tags all the way on the right. So like I said, all of these illustrations were created here at this desk, at this table. I don't think I was here for any of them. But it feels like I was because these are such beautiful, amazing posters. You will win all three of them. Um, and it's totally random. So all you have to do is be communicating in the chat. Make sure you're logged in on Behance. Um, it's be.net slash live. And we'll work some Adobe Magic and get a random winner picked. Maybe our invisible man can announce the winner this time. Yeah, Chandler, the pool party. That's my personal favorite. Super cute. Hoping that Armando wins for his birthday. Hi, Michelle, welcome. <laughs> Steven. Behance, even pronouncing it like Beyonce this whole time. It's actually a uh, Behance. That's what I call it. Invisible Man, are you gonna announce it, or would you rather I announce it? Uh, I'll do it. All right. Oh, it's okay. And the winner is drumroll, All please. Right. The winner is Basic Studio. All Basic the way from Mexico. Woo, Basic Ooh. Studio, congratulations. I've seen you in chat. Make sure you appear in chat so we can make sure that you are real. Yes, that was the one and only Gustafer, the Invisible Man. 
amazing basic studio congratulations you have won all three of these amazing posters they'll be shipped to you all you have to do is look out for a message from adobe live team in your behance messages so stay on the lookout for that oh awesome basic studio i see you in chat it's great <clears throat> <laughs> Invisible Man, Adobe Magic, so much mysticism in the Adobe Studio. <laughs> Creative Cloud, it's crazy. But don't be too sad if you didn't win this giveaway. You have, let's see, two more chances today to win, and then you have four more tomorrow. <laughs> Ten years. Oops. <laughs> Chat, you have, let's see, 25 minutes to get your contest entries in. Like I said, we have a couple already submitted, so keep them coming in. We want to make this decision very difficult for Ryan. As we said earlier, the contest today is an art magazine. Don't worry, there's a template on the contest tab. Go to be.net slash live, click on contest. You can download the InDesign template, use InDesign 2018. Um, try your hand at it and then submit it. And you can submit it inside of InDesign. It's very cool. Oh wow, this looks cool, Ryan. I like this. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> I looked like the backpack pattern. Ryan, how long would you say that you sit and work on a design in one sitting? I'm sorry? How long would you say you work on a design in one sitting without getting up? An hour? Two hours? Three sitting. hours? Uh, I'll spend, <laughs> spend a lot of time a sitting. A long time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but usually when I, after uh, lunch, oh, okay. have to walk around. That's it's good. better. Mm -hmm. And also very uh, sleepy after yes. the lunch. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes have to um, maybe stand up mm -hmm. and yeah, just stretch. work. Sometimes just even have to stand up and work a while oh, just yeah. to keep awake. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just have, otherwise you hear just like, uh, like man, it's so tough. Yeah, after lunch, oof, very hard. So I want to remind you all in chat: make sure you're drinking your water. Do you need water? Yeah, I have some? my okay. water. Nice. Maybe. Chat, drink water, get up and stretch. You can uh, put on your speaker super loud so you can hear our wonderful voices as you walk around your house or your workplace. <laughs> Definitely don't, don't blare this at work, probably. Maybe, it's educational. <laughs> yes, Wayne Smith, drink water. Luke Finch, what is up? Haven't seen you in a while, friend. How are you? Ooh. So this would be the cover. Yes. And the other thing that you were working on might is like an alternate cover, another option. Yes, another options. Yeah. So this this one I'm trying to play around. Yeah, I think it's really uh, cool. The text, the graphics. So I kind of like place it on um, uh, on try to try to work out the layout mm. in. Uh, Illustration, Illustrator, and then I kind of like save it a file AI, and then I place it here mm -hmm. so that when I Alt double click, it will go back to this. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know it, but um, yes, it's a very good tool. Mm -hmm. uh, and then even when you place um, place um, a, a Photoshop, it will work the same. Right. Photoshop file. So yeah. you place a Photoshop file. 
So, if you're in here, full shop, let me see. Oh, yeah, here. So, imagine I put this file here. Oh, no. Just <laughs> do the, the place into. So, this file. Mm -hmm. So, usually I do place right. here. And then, uh, just now when I do it, I have to click here. Ah, show import options. Import options. Mm -hmm. So if I can click it, it would just crop it more like the arc. Yeah. Where, it, where right. is it? Right to the edge of the pixels. Yeah. So if I click here, mm -hmm. I, actually I can choose yeah. it to crop or mm -hmm. like, you know, trim or whatever the setting mm -hmm. you do in okay. Illustrator. Right. So then I do this way and then so that it will keep it, this one mm -hmm. is the same as the art, art, um, yeah. artboard. Yeah, right. Like here. So I'm just try. Maybe I can place also the the PDF. Uh, mm -hmm. but the Photoshop here. And ah. then sometime mm -hmm. you can play around. Layer or whatever, but let me just place it here, here, maybe. Mm -hmm. And then when you double click it, you just Boom. go to here. That was fast. So, <laughs> all the time, so, so the next time you open your file, you don't have to open all these things. You mm -hmm. just open the, uh, the InDesign mm -hmm. software, Yeah. and then you just open it. And then, oh, I want to, I want to keep editing this photo, let's say. Yeah. And then I just double click. And I go, go to here. Magic so, of Creative Cloud. So, and then you do something, save it, save mm -hmm. it, and mm -hmm. then here probably ask you uh, update it or yeah, not. Yeah, right, right. Or if you hear it doesn't ask you, you have to go to the link. Mm -hmm. Update links. So, I think it's here. And then probably, oh, there's, if you change something, there will be a um, mm. commission mark. Mm -hmm. And then put it right click and then update the link. Things um, somewhere here. Yeah, maybe because, at the bottom, maybe one of these icons. Yeah, because it's I think it's not because there's nothing changed, so uh, mm -hmm. show up maybe, but it should be here. Mm -hmm. So uh, then you can just update it, and then will be uh, update to the version that you what you just say. Very cool. Do you think that you use this very often? Yeah, yeah. Deep, I, I use it because I, I in a in a team, mm -hmm. um, in in I've been a design team, and then uh, some of my because a uh, different designer have different preferences. Right. Uh, some designer really love uh, Illustrator, mm -hmm. and they only use Illustrator. Right. And then they know in the InDesign, but they, and also they know Photoshop, mm -hmm. but they are not um, extremely good at InDesign. Yeah. They just go to Illustrator and then do something, do something, mm -hmm. and then they actually work also the layout, all the things. Mm -hmm. So they would just have to place the AI, the, the AI file, just put it, and then yeah. different pages. Right. So uh, sometimes it just to me sometimes I have to oh surprise is an AI file yeah, before you do surprise. it in this side <laughs> and I have to go back to your file and then ah. do. Um, so it's it depends on different designer. Right. So, and also for me, I sometimes do it because uh, some graphics, is very hard to do it in InDesign. Of course. Some graphic I have to do on Illustrator. Mm -hmm. So that's why I sometimes also do that thing. Mm -hmm. And all maybe Photoshop or something. Right, right. So it depends. Yeah. Very versatile. chat i want to remind you got 15 minutes left about just about 15 a little more uh, to get your contest entries in so we have let's see about six already keep them coming go to the contest tab at be.net slash adobe to learn more about it and if you don't have time or you just tuned in uh, make sure you check out the rest of the streams today where you can continue to enter the contest So here I also trying to do a very quick um, grid in here so that mm -hmm. it sort of help me how I can place the thing, place the graphics. So, yeah, no path. Mm -hmm. 
yeah puff so do offset maybe yeah. and I do split Well, this is a good question. Actually, Munir and Justin both want to know what inspires you. Do you have inspiration? Inspire me? Yeah. Uh, sometimes um, inspire me. Um, I will look at a lot um, pictures, a lot mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. uh, artwork. Right. Uh, it's not only design, not only graphic design, oh, yeah. but also look at uh, some videos, movie. Oh. Uh, sometimes uh, I love the uh, intro of the movie or oh. like the credits. Oh, movies. interesting. So if you look at the movies, um, for example, the Iron Man is like mm -hmm. super cool. Yeah. And, like all this thing going around, yeah. all this motion. Yeah, and sometimes it just help you think. Mm -hmm. Um, this they 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 making that way because of some sort of composition, right? So it might helps you on your layout, mm -hmm. your composition, right? And movies is a good way to look at it because yeah. it's have motion. Yeah. While in the graphic design, you you can try also. I can I I, I sometimes try to create some motion. Right, that'd be cool. Um, and also photography also. Mm -hmm. uh, photography, um, there is these. Some some photography have um, also have a very complex mm -hmm. or a very good composition right. or maybe for example root of fur yeah. maybe they like play something on the bottom middle middle and on top mm -hmm. but it's actually very simple yeah. you look at the picture didn't realize it but it actually oh it's root of fur and then yeah, yeah yeah so uh, sometimes and also we go to museum look at artwork yeah uh, painting mm -hmm. uh, they sort of is also look at their composition it's mm -hmm. very helpful yeah so um, I look at their composition a lot or layout mm -hmm. uh, sometimes just come across some random thing, poster yeah. or something, and just look at it. There's one time I go with my wife, mm -hmm. go to a beauty place, oh. and then I look at the poster, and then I always, always, always talk about this with my wife, and mm -hmm. my wife just don't understand it. <laughs> so like, I don't know, oh, the, poster, the poster doesn't look right, you see the shadow? <laughs> yeah. And the shadow doesn't work. And then oh, I wish they can do better kerning, something, <laughs> something like that. And my wife always a critic. Say. So my wife said, huh, I don't know what you're seeing. Yeah. that kind of thing. <laughs> so uh, some sometime I some because uh, I'm in the industry, so mm -hmm. I've been working on this. Uh, I'm not I'm not saying they're doing bad jobs, mm -hmm. but they are like it could be improved a little bit. Yeah, I agree. But um, and also to me, I I don't always do a lot of. No, good job. There's only good design and even uh, better design. Yeah. So it's not like very bad design. No, mm -hmm. I, in my belief, I just make good enough because mm -hmm. a lot of time you could do on and on on and spend on yeah, and on, on you forever. Could go forever. So, yep. so you just have to do the best mm -hmm. in the time frame. Mm -hmm. Do the best, and then later on, if you have time, they pay pay you more mm -hmm. or whatever. Then you can keep working on it. Yeah. So you just have to work it and then let it go. Maybe yeah. 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 You do have to let it go, definitely. And I bet all of you in chat have you ever seen anything out in the wild, like a poster or something in a magazine where you just knew, like that designer could have done better. I definitely see that a lot, and I I make <laughs> a comment about it. <laughs> Usually people are like, "What are you talking about?" These little shapes that you're making almost look like confetti, like celebration. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And actually, do some more. And also, because this is a um, uh, for camera, mm -hmm. maybe you can. We, we I think should put more graphics in here. Ah. Maybe. Maybe I don't know. I have to try. Yeah, try it out. We got 15 minutes. 
only 50 minutes? <laughs> okay. Until we start looking at the contest oh. submissions. But you might have a little bit of time after that, too. Ooh, I like those colors together. <laughs> yes, we do have a very hungry Michael Chez <laughs> over here in the corner. <laughs> it's lunchtime here. I wonder what time it is for you all. Let us know. So I talked with my my um, friend because I'm from Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I my friends, some of my friends already went back to Hong Kong after the education. Uh -huh. I just stay here, mm -hmm. and then um, I asked them, "Well, I'm doing a live chat, a li live stream." Mm -hmm. And then the hung, my friends in Hong Kong is actually 3 a.m. Oh. 5 a.m. I cannot. It's too late for us. They're not true friends. <laughs> they would watch it if they were real friends. <laughs> yeah, no, it's too bad. Oh darn! <laughs> You'll have to show them the the YouTube videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, we got it's 8 p.m. for Munir, 3 o'clock for Carol. So you must be in a uh, Eastern time zone. Oh yeah, you said you're from Indianapolis. Nice. It's 9 p.m. for Alexander. Mitch, you're just one time zone away from us. 2 p.m. for Basic Studio down in Mexico. <laughs> oh wow, it's 21.20 for Kevin. It's late. The Invisible Man is back. Is he behind me? Yesterday it was from Peru, so it's another one. Oh, we have many invisible friends. Sam is in Atlanta, nice. Yes, Carol, get back to work. Good luck. Thank you for spending time with us. I know you're busy. Hadil, it's almost midnight in Saudi Arabia. Nice. Oh, Mitch, you wake up at 4.30 in the morning? That's wow. early. Are you a morning person? <laughs> or do you like to stay up late? I I stay up late usually. Ah, mm -hmm. Usually, and, um, and then uh, sometimes wake up early. My wife uh, is a teacher. Oh, cool! So she I wake up very early. Yeah. Every day. Oof. And then I wake up later. Mm -hmm. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so she she wake up very early. Um, it's crazy. Oh man. It's like she had to wake up six something. Yeah. Six. And then <laughs> we have an invisible <laughs> butt <laughs> coming in. <laughs> Alright, now he's more invisible. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, he's like a super villain. <laughs> I like Harry and he's Potter. gone. <laughs> oh. Oh, Daniel is calling you out, Ryan. He says Ryan should wake up early and make his wife breakfast. <laughs> oh, called out. Wow. <laughs> you can always go back okay. to bed afterwards. Okay. 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 I wonder if she's watching though. She's going to be like, Ryan, I saw what they said. <laughs> you have to do it. <laughs> Hopefully they, uh, they're having lunch time. Yeah. Hopefully she will not see it. <laughs> Last yeah. time she say she uh, yesterday she watched some oh, part of nice. it during her lunch. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah. <laughs> You're in trouble. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Michael, you're making people scared. <laughs> K. Willie is fear. I'm fear. <laughs> what is I'm scared in French? J'ai peur. Mm. So that would make sense. I have fear. Mm. 
He has to make sure to save. That's important. Yes. That's a scary thing for sure. It takes a while to save because I'm saving on my um, oh, your hard thumb drive. drive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's why it takes a long time. Gotcha. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you want to be really safe, chat, save it to your desktop and then save it to your hard drive. But Ryan is just being dangerous. Yeah. She have to <laughs> save it on desktop instead. <laughs> Yeah, I have to do more. This doesn't. It looks. Ooh. So far, not very good. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's yeah, it's not very not good. Not very good. <laughs> this is more simple. It's I like true. this one. Yeah. Maybe I can try. Mm -hmm. Color. Oh, Marcus, you missed the whole session because you were working on your submission. We're excited to see it. Oh, I see it in the in the list, so we'll look at it soon. to you and comment L <laughs> Oh. because I've been using um, a lot of illustrator mm -hmm. lately yeah so I'm doing comment to you the lock and unlock mm -hmm. right while in e in designs unlock is lock is L oh yeah that would make and sense then, like, unlock. that is tough between the different uh, programs the shortcuts can be different and Munir there actually is autosave um, in recent updates, but you do have to turn it on in your preferences. So check that out. Yeah, it, 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 I, I should try it. <laughs> yeah? Have you ever used autosave? <laughs> Sometimes I use it, yeah. uh, mainly for, uh, for example, uh, in, in design also, mm -hmm. in design also, mm -hmm. sometimes is uh, just sometimes crash, sometimes. Yeah. It's like, it's like, I have that problem like two years ago, a few uh, years ago, mm -hmm. when we are working in a Baker team, uh -huh. dealing with a server. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So if you have a server and they save it on the server, when the other person open it, mm -hmm. Uh, sometimes sometime InDesign do the job but like, don't allow you to open it because yeah. someone is using it. Right, but sometimes it sometimes. doesn't. <laughs> so sometimes just when you save it somehow just mess yeah. up yeah. and then it cause a big problem. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, I think it's good to do auto save Yeah. and then um, just to give it save. Yeah, I've had the same experience working on a big team using a server. It's a uh, it's definitely a weakness in the Creative Cloud apps is being friendly with servers. It's not really what it was built for. So so rather than opening the actual file, mm -hmm. probably have to, because uh, I think there's an option like you can open it as a separate file. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you open it, the file have a copy of a it. Copy, yeah. So it's not like you're dealing with that because yeah. that file is already someone opened it. Yeah. So, and then you're just working on other things. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you pull up something, look up something, mm -hmm. uh, and then you combine it later. Yeah. Then it would be easier sometimes. Yeah. I would always be yelling across the table like, hey, who has this file open? <laughs> Close it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need it. <laughs> Yes, Wayne, it is a very involved contest today, this art magazine contest. Uh, the template is pretty big. There's like 16 or 20 pages, but you don't have to use all those. Two or three spreads is just fine with us. Three to five. <laughs> Zero to Hmm. 
So all of those colors that you have in your swatches, what are those from? So these colors are, some of them I just pull up in here. So when I import it, uh -huh. just now I try to save, uh, copy and paste and just pull it here and then it just, this color just show up. Right, right. And this, this color I just take it from here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like, oh my God, too messy. <laughs> it's crazy. The picture, oh my god, I shouldn't do it. Sometimes you gotta do a little bit of cleanup. Yeah, sometimes um, when I'm doing the exploration, mm -hmm. it's, it's good to do whatever comes up in my mind first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just do try, try, and then later on, it's not working, then to clean up all the yes. things, we start it again. Mm -hmm. uh, it just happens a lot of times. So just usually a good layout it comes maybe I give a um, few hours mm -hmm. at least. Wow. Uh, maybe one hour for yeah. me, two yeah. hours. Um, uh, just just have to take some time. Yeah. Have a good layout. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not saying it's not is the, the the thing that I come up at first time is bad, but it could be better. Totally, um, it's rarely the best one. Yeah, sometimes like too simple, mm -hmm. and then try to do something more, but mm, no. Yeah, I feel like my first ideas aren't my most creative ideas, like they're closest to the thing I was inspired by. But then as I keep iterating, it changes into something that is very bizarre and cool. Time is almost up for the contest. Uh, Marco, if you want to participate in the contest for next stream, just go to be.net slash live. Hopefully you're already there. Click on the contest tab and you can download the template. Yeah, Laura, no worries. I don't even have yours open anymore. So when I open it again, it should be reloaded. I'm glad that you uh, keep going back and working on your project. That's good. Yep, Wayne, we have your entry, not to worry. I like the blue background. It's very polar. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So... I think I still need some more thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's time to change um, a more, there be more columns. Ooh, Armando says he really likes the shapes. That arch shape is a cool okay. shape. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll start getting these contest entries open and we can look at them in just a minute. And Wayne says all of the artwork in his uh, submission is his artwork. So that's very cool. I can't wait to see it. Hey, Cedric, how are you? So many big old projects to look at. Again, if you are just joining us and you would like to participate in the contest, not to worry. There is There are two more options to enter today. Just go to the contest tab, be.net slash adobe, and there will be a winner next stream and the one after that. So two more opportunities and then four more tomorrow. You ready to look at some designs? Okay. Yeah. Cool. And we can come back to this and maybe uh, you'll be inspired by some of these. Nice. 
cool. So the first contest entry we have these open. This is Laura's. So the whole theme was to create an art magazine and they mm -hmm. got a template. Uh, it's a big template, but you don't have to use all the pages. Uh, so this is Laura's, very cool. Mm -hmm. Graffiti versus vandalism. Nice, nice, nice table of contents. Nice. That's that's your first thing to design, right? The table of contents. It's not it's not the first thing, but well, it's, it's one of the important things. Very important, yes. Yeah. <laughs> w stock artists. Very nice, nice very nice. creative. Nice. Definitely an art magazine. Good job, Laura. All right, we will go on to the next. That's very cool. Mm. Art magazine for Adobe CC. Nice. Mm -hmm. Cool nice colors. colors. Yes, yes, definitely. Awesome. So three pages on that one. I love that. Cool illustration. Did you do that yourself? All right, we've got art and culture. Mm. Cool, United States. So this is artwork from different places in uh, the Americas. India, very cool. United Kingdom. Hmm. Unity and diversity. Very cool. I like the message of this one. Nice. Mm -hmm. This one is, I like this one. It is based all around Britney Spears. <laughs> this is by Armando. Hmm. It's nice to use them. Uh, photography and type. Hmm. <laughs> <Wow>. Hey, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the end page. So that was by Armando. Great job. Go to the next. Mm. Yeah, this is very emotive. Cool. <laughs> hmm. I like that. Nice colors. Nice. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, on to the next. Ooh. Yeah, really cool. Mm. Nice table of contents. Ooh, this is inspiration. You are also talented and skilled. Nice. Nice. So this is the a teaser for the next uh, magazine. Alrighty. Mm. Cool. Oh, this is yours, Wayne. So Wayne did all of the artwork in this. Wow. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, you're very multi uh, multi skilled, multi faceted artist. Nice job. Whoa, I love that owl. This is by Marcus. Mm. I love these. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. Good job, Marcus. On to the next. Looks like we got to reload this one. OK. Oh, cool. Hmm. Nice aesthetic. Very pretty. All right. And this is the last one. Wow. Yeah, that's very cool. Ooh. So this is uh, by an artist named B, or <laughs> an artist named Cami on Behance. Nice. Nice. Kind of showcasing one of their favorite artists. Hmm. Very cool. So that is all of the entries. We can kind of look through them again quickly, and you'll let me know which ones are your favorite, okay. and we'll put them at the top of the uh, stack. So this is Laura's. Nice job, Laura. I really appreciate how you worked so hard and you iterated on your different ideas. This was the uh, Strong Women Changing the World, Incredible Women. 
art and culture. This one had cool contents. Britney Spears. Never a bad thing. <laughs> By Armando. This one was nice. Mm. <laughs> I like some pages. Yeah? Like cool. Some of the pages was cool. Take that to the top. This one. Go back to the top. Inspiration. It's nice. Mm. Let me see if I missed any. Nope, that was Brittany. So here's this one. This one was by Wayne. All the art was his own. I like this one also. Yeah, I do too. As an illustrator, I'm biased. All right. Oh, this was the, the cool zine. Let's go back to the top. Mm. Very cool illustrations, photography. This one's very clean. This one's clean, yes. Yeah, cool. We'll add that to the top. This one's cool. Yeah, this one is cool. All right, oh. so it looks like we have our top four options. So first option is this one. Second, do you have any comments, critiques? Do, uh, I like some of the, I like this page. Uh -huh. I like this page. Yeah. Like there's a f uh, following some of the Greek. Yeah. And then um, the color, the the, te Sorry. Um, <laughs> the headline could be white, maybe right. other colors. Mm -hmm. so the, 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 could be other colors. Yeah. And also, if you choose that color, probably on the other page you can do something with that color also. Right. Mm -hmm. You kind of, kind of like make it together. Mm -hmm. And also the, um, this is maybe I, I'll do some more. Uh, margin or something. Oh yeah. Or maybe put more negative. This one is, is good also. Yeah. I think it's good. Nice. Nice. Alrighty. Second option. This one is very clean. Mm -hmm. There is somehow color differences between two pages. Oh. You see? Yeah. So um like I uh, um uh, if you're fixing that part, it's pretty nice, clean. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe, maybe it's the int you do it intentional, maybe. Yeah, could be. All it's right, third option. This one overall, I, I like this one. Mm -hmm. And um, this one is pretty, um, there's a good hierarchy. Mm -hmm. You can see the headline, uh, the the headline, mm -hmm. and then the copy, and then you know which one's headline and so. Yeah. And then you kind of have make have a lot of um, negative space, mm -hmm. which uh, kind of good. It's some color maybe a little bit too similar, like the blue and the background. Yeah, right. It could be um, maybe a darker blue mm -hmm. or like a lighter um, right. color for the background, maybe better. Yes. I agree. It, uh, this even, page, I like this page. Yeah. Very standard, uh, clean. Mm -hmm. And the cover, I think, is really cover, strong. Yeah, the cover is also very good. Mm -hmm. And there is like uh, the shape going off the yeah. edge of the square. Mm -hmm. And then on the square, you add like the um, the Behance um, uh, artist name. Mm -hmm. And it's, that is pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. And I like how this lines up kind of right with her arm. It's nice. Nice. Uh, I'll, I'll pick this one. Okay, this cool. This pretty good. This is the winner. So it says by Michelle. I'm not sure who that actually is in chat. Maybe Michelle? Michelle Ro Rocha. Roca. Oh, nice. So Michelle Roca. Let's see you in chat. You have won a free year of Creative Cloud. Uh, thank you, Ryan, for making that tough decision. Yeah. It's always hard, especially with this. There were so many different yeah, spreads. Good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Definitely some really strong pieces. Oh, yeah. Nice. Michelle, really, really nice work. So you win a free year of Creative Cloud. Don't despair if you didn't win uh, this time. There will be another contest for the next two streams and then all day tomorrow, too. So um, 
hopefully you can take some things that maybe you learned from Ryan during the stream and implement it into the next contest. Congrats. Congratulations. Good job. Yes, everyone's so supportive in chat. I really appreciate that. Um, maybe we can jump back into what you're doing and you can chat about what so, you've got done so far. <laughs> uh, so far, I, didn't, I don't think I've done much. It's still in uh, exploration. Yeah, it's hard. It and takes a lot of um, energy. before yesterday, probably I um, not probably, but I uh, yesterday I haven't prepared this page mm -hmm. a lot, and mm -hmm. that's why it's like starting from scratch right now. Definitely. And I, it takes me some time to think of a good layout, some um, great structure. Yeah. And. Um, Probably have to do more, Ooh. do more um, combinations. Nice. So sometimes it's good to keep a fresh eye mm -hmm. and to think about colors. And also um, sometimes I is sometimes is this my um, this is my process of uh, designing. Mm -hmm. My process of designing. I sometimes. Um, trying to do all the things I want to do on yeah. one page mm -hmm. and then somehow make that page super busy. Yes. And mm -hmm. then now now I'm thinking maybe I should delete this, delete this, delete this. Mm -hmm. And now it's starting start to look better mm -hmm. than just now, maybe. Yeah. I think so. It takes a while to kind of get rid of all the excess and let that good design kind of uh, unveil itself, I think. Very and cool. I actually, I, I like this arch, and yeah, I'm planning to use this uh, more often throughout the pages. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yesterday, I I make another this another uh, star photos, and mm -hmm. I put an arch behind. Oh wow! Look at him. So this is a. I think it will be a great mm -hmm. opportunity for a spread. Yeah. And then it go. Um, maybe half of the page or more. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So usually I would go more, either more than half of the page, mm -hmm. uh, the spread. Mm -hmm. So it's like not half the page, but uh, half of the spread. So oh, okay. like one page. One sorry. whole page. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so go more than one page or either less. Yeah. So I, um, for me, I kind of like doing more or less. So mm -hmm. so that it kind of like you can look the spread as a whole. As a whole. Yep. And not just two distinct not pages. Not like two mm -hmm. distinct pages. Just my personal uh, mm -hmm. preferences. Yeah. Um, um, you can dis dis disagree with me, and I, I look at other other a lot of editorial design. Mm -hmm. They have two different pages, like one spread, one cut, one, one photos mm -hmm. on one is. And it's, and it's totally fine. Uh, just yeah, my personal just preference. Personal. Um, yeah. So this could be an opportunity, and then I could put text here. Yeah, definitely. And then maybe text here. So this could be our page about maybe the founder. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Mm -hmm. or the, Is that the founder? Maybe. Are you the founder? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's like, a, <laughs> it's like a photo that I found. Uh, it's uh, from the Adobe stock. Mm -hmm. I just found this person uh, wanted to have a spread about um, maybe the founder. Mm -hmm and how the story about the company, like how it started, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So maybe writing stuff, writing stuff, maybe there's a paragraph here, and this thing, and then paying around the grid, and then have the text overlaid. Oh, yeah. So um, it will be, I think it will be pretty interesting, because uh, now the, the cover is still kind of up in the air in yeah. my, Point of view, maybe I'll jump onto the pages a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just show you guys what I'm thinking. Yeah, please do. Yesterday, uh, Marcel was saying that he does the cover last because he's designed the whole book and he lets that help him design the cover. Yeah, sometimes it helps mm -hmm. also. So, but I, I, I um, the cover. So if it's like a magazine, mm -hmm. so magazine, uh, usually you put 
the feature at the middle of the magazine because mm-hmm. it's more like the easiest um, when you open the magazine yeah that's where you go this is where you go mm-hmm. so it's like the most important feature yeah is at the middle of the magazine mm-hmm. so that's why there is the main feature yeah so some cover will just borrow the idea from the, from feature. the feature I see some graphics similar mm-hmm. some 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 people do that or some that's people cool. do you know other things mm-hmm. um, and so that the feature that that spread may be helping you to do design on the the, yeah. the, the cover right and I said before like doing the uh, table of content is mm-hmm. also very good yeah. very important because it's like an overlay uh, it's like an overview mm-hmm. of the whole book mm-hmm. whole magazine or whole book right so you design something on it mm-hmm. and then kind of borrow something from the ti- uh, um, type of content yeah like graphics elements like lines mm-hmm. um, certain fonts certain graphics certain icons certain uh, symbols mm-hmm. something like that so you just have to um, borrow that and then put it into your features or articles right. so right very cool I can't wait to see so it's just gonna be we've got about five minutes left with Ryan today so if you in chat have any questions about his process or his experience, or you want to know what his favorite color is, just go ahead and ask. He's an open book. Sometimes just... Sorry. He looks like a nice guy. <laughs> Me too big. <laughs> I think He's a giant. It's <laughs> like super big right now. Ooh, okay. They want to know what your favorite color is. Do you have a favorite color? Um, uh, I don't have a no. I don't need most <laughs> favorite color. Yeah. I used to have. I used to love red a mm, lot. Mm-hmm. I love um, red because it attract my eyes mm-hmm. uh, most. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I used to have red pants, red shorts, red t-shirt, red. Bag, whatever. <laughs> but uh, after I doing the design, I I feel like You're different like, colors mm. have different meaning, mm-hmm. different mood. So uh, now I'm just uh, open to any yeah colors. I think a lot of artists and designers would say that they like see the good in pretty much every color. Oh, Daniel wants to know if you ever use effects on your graphics or uh, images like drop shadow, outer glow. I know you use multiply. Um, doing the graphics? Yeah, or... on graphics or on text. Do you ever put effects um, on it? On text, text um, if it's copy, I, I won't do mm-hmm. much uh, uh, effects on right. the top copy because it's really hard to see mm-hmm. if you print it. And actually, if you do like ten, mostly I think a magazine like letter size around letter size, mm-hmm. do 10, 10 point mm-hmm. or like nine points, very eight points, very small. It's yeah, tiny. So uh, um, it's for like caption that mm-hmm. kind of thing, eight point or nine point. Yeah. So do ten point or eleven point. I think the copy is not good to do mm-hmm. much uh, effect. Right. I agree. But for head uh, headlines, mm-hmm. uh, is an opportunity to do much more. You mm-hmm. can do like crazy thing on the uh, uh, headline like yeah. colors overlay or like changing yeah. the shape of the text mm-hmm. uh, whatever you want um, and that is um, I think is make it make the page look uh, better mm-hmm. also mm-hmm. yeah yeah it can almost act as a graphic like it's a very pictorial element yes Adobe live team nice we do have Michael and Maud up next in just eight minutes so we have a couple more minutes here with Ryan don't worry he will be back uh, tomorrow and yeah thank you all for being here just a couple more minutes thank you for participating and asking questions Um, I see that a couple people in chat are maybe making a Behance group together and that's amazing I'm glad to see the community growing and thriving So on, uh, sometimes I try to do something like this, mm-hmm. and then we can place like a I don't know uh, something like a headline. 
this one. Oh, okay. And then we do um, some baby doing the same pawn that I use. And for for tips for uh, topography yeah. to create um, a good uh, Kong dress. Mm -hmm. um, so it's always better to do um, double size at least. Oh, okay, so double so the size. It's, uh, if the copy like 10 point, you at least do 20, 20 mm -hmm. points. Yeah. So it's a good, I, I'm just saying the starting point. Mm -hmm. So you can try 20 point first. So yeah. you see, oh, you read the 20 point first and then you read the copy. Yeah, that's a really good final tip for our two-hour segment. Like I said, we'll be back with Ryan tomorrow. Stay tuned for the next segment. Um, thank you all for watching. Make sure to check us out on be.net slash live and tune in for the next segment. Bye! <laughs> Ryan's like still okay, working. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye! Bye, see you. <laughs>